little bit here and we'll get you a little bit of... No, I guess I didn't get that. If I can read what's on there. There was the Oracle's room. What you did there was... Uh, shouted into that hole that they had carved out and you got back echoes. And there's the main hall. Stone Age people had carved a city out of stone underneath the ground and really made a uh, an attempt at architecture that has never been understood. Some very interesting carvings and okay now we're this was in a an area that they had hauled some of the statuary out from below ground and just had it sitting in a parking lot. We walked along here and took some movies of the different architectures and they don't know, they have no reference points as to what this civilization was all about, what they worshipped or they just disappeared but they were a highly civilized, progressive civilization for their for their age. They're not sure if it was 5,000 years BC or in the new era but definite stone age people. Little lizard Chameleons are all over the place on the island. Very common as they are in Hilton Head and most of the tropical areas of the world. Some of these Stone Age potter This might have been an outdoor temple. They're trying to reconstruct some of the pieces as they thought how they were. They hadn't gotten very far with this yet. I don't think they had the funds to really put into it. Wearing one of my favorite shirts there. There's a temple dome, church dome in the background. A lot of churches in, in Malta. And then we saw this festival where there were Jewish stars portrayed out in the street. The Star of David's, but in their culture it didn't mean that. It had no religious connotation to it as far as I could tell. Middle of the summer, it wasn't a Jewish holiday. It was some, in fact, you see there, there's the Maltese cross, the top left hand corner of the screen there. Here's a typical beach scene. The beaches were not very good. They were quite rocky and very dangerous as the sign is telling us. There's the, the language, the Maltese language up above, a combination of five or six different languages. In fact, the uh, the Swedish people that we met there could converse quite easily. There was a very uh, direct tie-in, probably from Viking days, between the Mal... Oh, this is interesting. This is a They laid down this grease on top of the pole uh, for this festive. Jesus. Okay, this guy is greasing this pole up. He's going to lay down a very heavy deposit of grease so that the sailors that are going to come along and try to get that prize can't do it. Now, boom, you see them going in. I think you had to walk out. Oh, you had to get that flag. That's what it was. And some people tried to, to just get a good running leap at it. Well, he didn't even try. And there was this old guy who was just sort of waiting his turn. All these young studs. Get a good slide towards it. Well, there was a couple of twins that were on leashes. Two sets of twins, I think. Or maybe they were triplets. Yeah, they were triplets. And these ladies had them under tow with their leashes on so they wouldn't get too far from home. This is the town square area in Malta. We had lunch there one day by that Triton's Fountain, I think was the name of that. Yeah, these are the Tritons. They're holding up this huge fountain. Very, very beautiful figure. They're creatures of the sea. 
must be the equivalent of mermaids. Valletta is the capital, is the uh, main city in town. Population of maybe three, four hundred thousand, I'd say. A lot of military establishments. It's actually a walled-in city, and Sliema is a section of Valletta, probably part of it. This is the major bus depot stop area going into the downtown shopping area. All these bustles circled around the Triton's statue. Very picturesque. Different color. Very unusual colors. Looks like uh, Queen Victoria and her head there. And we're coming to the end of this reel, I think. It was a wonderful four days, three nights in Malta. Little package deal out of Stuttgart. Very, very lovely time. And here's Jennifer's little. Now you smell like a cow. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Daddy. Yes, Jennifer. Where's your princess? Hold it. You look like what Hey, say goodbye to Malta. Bye bye. Give mom the microphone. Let her say goodbye to mom. Say How goodbye. Was, it, mom? was it a good trip? It was wonderful. I should have learned a lot about you at that time already. Well, I didn't learn anything about you, but I should have been well, smarter. What? Well, the cheese incident has been carried over for the last 18 years or whatever. <laughs> well, this was 1972. Okay, well, then the last 15 years. That's Ferner Dryer. That's Ferner Dryer and Gerda at Stone Mountain. They were just getting out of the Vega. 1976 Vega, there's Werner with his sound movie camera loading a camera in there and there is the Stone Mountain have you ever been to Stone Mountain Katie? this is Stone Mountain Georgia I'm gonna make sure this thing is focused okay okay now that is, I don't know. <laughs> uh, what is sitting on this chair, and it's very windy, and it's at Stone Mountain, I think. Well, uh, and this guy, he's getting this microphone or something out. Whatever it is, it's black. Werner yes, Dreyer, one of my old friends from, from Germany days. That's his wife, Gerda, loading up his camera. Yeah, see, I'm taping, I'm, I'm projecting this from here, Katie, from the projector onto this little screen and my camera to make sure it's focused and that everything's going okay. I show it on the TV set at the same time. It's very complex, isn't it? Oh, now we're on a boat ride. This was a uh, tourist boat in the lake that surrounds most of Stone Mountain, Atlanta, Georgia. It's 1979, I think, they took a trip over. As it turned out, Werner lost his suitcase on this trip. They flew from Germany to New York to San Francisco to Atlanta. And on the leg from New York to San Francisco, his bag never showed up in San Francisco, and he lost lots of good stuff. Look at that, Jennifer and Katie. Did you ever see a cable car like that before in your life? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Right. That was a good zoom. <laughs>